Welcome to use Halo Cam. The system time is abnormal. Please connect to the APP for automatic synchronization. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody, welcome back. Today I am going to load the tune on my car for the supercharger. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to sort of do it, or I'm gonna show you how I do it, and then hopefully it'll help you from when you tune your car. And anyways, when you scroll down, here is the tune, and here's what I need to log. So I'm gonna download these two. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna open this device updater and you can find that in the SCT website I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and download that program you can go on their website and you can download the device updater which is how you load the tunes and then you can uh, get live link to, which is how you do the data log. So when this opens up, you have your SCT, right? And you are going to plug it into your computer. Beforehand, the tuners are gonna ask you for a serial number for your, uh, for your SCT. And if you turn it around, it's in the back, it's right here, and that's how you can get it. So once I plug it in, It'll turn on, the computer should know it's coming. And then you can go to load custom tune file. And it'll start reading the information from your SCT. Done. Anyway, so we go to browse. And we're in downloads where it shows that's old. We go to Mustang and it shows a whole bunch. Here's a new one. We go to open, it puts it there. And once it's there, it puts it down here. This is the, this is what they name it. You click on it, you put add to device. It passes it here. You can rename it. You can click on it and rename it. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because this is just the first one. We're gonna revise it a lot. And you click program. Once you click program, it should, yep, programming custom tune. It's, it's going to write it on there. And boom. Custom tune programming complete. I head back and it's in there. We can close this. We won't use it back until we go to data log. So now we go to the car and let's tune the car. All right, so we're in the car. We got the keys in here. And we are going to go to program vehicle. Gives you a notice there. You can return to stock. I'll go continue. All right. Turn the vehicle's ignition key to the on position and hold the engine start button for two or three seconds. Do not start the engine. So, do that. We hit continue. All right, and then we look for the tune, which is Paxton 91,000 BAB 18 Manny. Take a picture. Says program vehicle, make sure that's going on. And you hit continue and it prepares everything. Make sure your radio's off, your AC's off, your lights are off. And also make sure you're connected to a battery tender maintaining the battery voltage, which I am. Thanks to Rob.
All right, so as you can see, that's done. And it's uh, clearing the codes. It says download complete, to ha tuning has been programmed. So we go turn key off. So you turn the key off. Hit done. And that's it. There's a funny noise coming from the front of your car. Hmm? There's, a, there's a funny noise coming <laughs> from the front of your car. I don't know what it is. Not as loud as Marty, yay. No, you're okay, actually. Yeah, huh? Hey. Because you hear mine right now. Yeah. Okay. There it is. And uh, we just wait right there. It's the time. So. Oh my god, it's going to be long as three minutes ever. Huh? drive the slow rpm drive keep engine running proceed to drive do a couple of these and then we got to stop and let it idle for two minutes and that's it watch me fuck this up 2500 can't pass 3500 5000 but he wants us locked from 2500 to 3500 So I did my initial data log, and uh, that was Friday. Today's Monday. I just got my updated tune. So I went into the email. I downloaded it to the computer, open a device updater, and then I connect the SCT. Go to um, load custom tune, and then you browse it on your computer. Uh, it's on downloads. I didn't move it to the folder, but it's in downloads and it's right here. Once you look at it, it's gonna say here and it's a revision one. You move it over or you click on it, move it over and then you program. You wait for it to program. Once it, you know, you see a programming here. Once it's though, when that's gonna say ready, you click back. You unplug and we go into the car. 
Alright, that looks like it's done. Alright, so we turn the vehicle off. We open the garage. And turn it on. And it's gonna finish the programming part. It's clearing the codes. All right, download complete. Program turn key off. And you press done. And that's it. And this is revision one. There we go. The chain gauge and the light is on. But we'll go and uh, check the codes. Start it again. Make sure the code is gone. And it's gone. Alright, so once you load the tune, turn on the car, get it to running temperature. We're gonna turn the AC off in a minute. But anyways, you connect the ACT to the computer, open live link. This is uh, revision two. So we had the start of tune, we had revision one, and this is revision two. And once this gets all going, you are want the dial it off vehicle, then you connect it, you say next, you connect to the OB2 port, you say next, start engine, next, and then check communications. All right, all the information is there. Go to vehicle info, blah, blah, blah. Use previously validated items list of available. Then this page is gonna open up. Here's a list of everything you can data log, but the tuner should send you a tune file and then they sent you a file for whatever they want you to data log. So you go to low configuration, merge, you say yes. Once it opens up, you select the one they send you and then she'll open it up. Once it opens up, they're all marked up. If you wanna add anything, add anything. If not, just go to down here, configure data log and boom, comes up. Once you're ready to uh, start data log, you just hit the green one and then it's gonna start data logging the time and you'll have like the graphs and everything here. Um, uh, this log, we're only gonna do a uh, second to third gear pull wide open throttle once uh, we're ready to start i'm gonna hit start all right Oh, 
anyways when you're done with whatever you do with your log and the instructions you got from the tuner you just go here and you stop it once you stop it you can go over here mess around read whatever you want but uh you go to save save all and you name it whatever you're going to name it so you can look at it later and send it to your tuner so that's the third log save it email it send it